I'm Susan Barnett, curator of the Yellowstone Art Museum, and I'm here with Christina Marianne today. Um, this is her painting that's in the show North by Northwest with a theme of women's work. Hi, Christina. Hello. <laughs> thank How you for you? having me here. Oh, thank you so much for doing this with me today, and thank you for being in the show. It's, um, it looks like a really wonderful painting. I look forward to seeing it in person. Thank you. Yeah. And I can hardly wait to see the show, all the works. Um, yeah, yeah, me too. It's like they are from all over the United States. Absolutely. And you're from Bozeman, right? You're a I'm, student at MSU? I'm from Bozeman, yeah. I actually just graduated uh, last week. Congratulations. <laughs> um, thank you. Yeah, with a Master in Fine Arts uh, from Montana State University. Um, yeah, my sort of fine arts in art. <laughs> and I mostly do painting, but I also work in um, sculpture, installation. You know, I kind of try, started experimenting with 3D work, but for this show, I have a painting. And um, so you're probably just kind of figuring out the next thing in your career, you know, your, where your studio is going to be next and, and where, your, um, where your direction is going to go. Yeah, it, it's exciting. It's, it's a bit of a weird time for that. It, you know, we are all with our world. It's upside down right now, but uh, it's exciting. I, I have a studio here, here in Bozeman. So uh, painting is what I did since forever, I guess, you know, was the way I was making my living through with. Um, so before going for going for this master, I was showing and making art and teaching art. But yeah, my studio was at MSU for the, in the past three years, but now it's time to go back whenever it's open. I, I don't have a studio yet because um, MSU is still closed. Uh -huh. So um, once that will open, I will just have to move everything back into my old studio and and keep working. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what was it that uh, motivated you to apply for this show with the theme of women's work? Yeah, so it's exciting. So my actually my when I first came to the United States was in 2013, but my first shows were here in Bozeman and then in Billings at one of the local galleries there. So it, 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 I, I was excited to come back to show in Billings. And then I've seen, I saw that the, the theme is women's work and my, um, so first I apply as a woman artist, but my work right now, it's about um, transitions, you know, it, it's about um, lim liminal sta states. And I was thinking of women artists and especially of women artists who are also mothers, because I feel like they are, they are in a, such a, a strong transitional state. Uh, State, you know, it's like pregnancy, it's a period of transition. It's like a very radical physical, psychological, emotional, societal change. And um, so I, I was thinking of that. So in a way, my painting, so it's, it's a sort of tribute to all the women artists who are also mother. And, you know, making a living through art, it's hard as it is. Um, in our world all over and then you know adding to that the role of being a woman uh in in a time when there are still some hierarchies and some barriers especially for mothers uh i think it's even harder so to me this this woman artists who are also mother are such a i don't know a remarkable example of like emotion emotional and like conceptual resiliency so um, my painting it's a tribute to that uh -huh. And that's interesting. I mean, the, the concept of liminal space that must um, really resonate for, for you being from Romania and living in the US. I mean, that's another kind of li liminal space that you're dealing with in your life. Yeah, so the, the body of work I, I have right now, I worked for it like you know, in the past three, four months. It's called neither here nor there because I feel like I'm in this space. I'm not in Romania. I'm not here. I'm 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 floating in between. So it's a series of work that is like a result of this investigation I have in um, like all my transition life experiences, but including the one of being an immigrant. You know, but immigrants or not, I think we are all living in transitional um, uh, states. We have tr uh, transitory experiences, you know, like that comes naturally when you go through all stages of life or, or by choice or um, 
even like unexpected events, like I call those forced liminalities, like, like the one we are in right now, you know, with this COVID. So I think that these experiences are shaping our identity and, and the way we respond to the world and the way we interact with each other. So th this is a subject that it's very, it's very, I'm processing my experience, but I think it's such a universal um, uh, experience we all have. And, you know, in this flux of permanent change, I think it's vital, vital to be resilient and then to be flexible and adapt and kind of take small step, you know, step by step. Um, so that's why uh, I was thinking about, about female artists and, you know, women artists and how they are so like a, such a great example of resiliency. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're all in liminal space right now. It's yeah, absolutely. entire world. Yeah, so my thesis before, so my thesis was about that. And um, yeah, I, it, it's funny, I was uh, writing my conclusion and, and this COVID came up. So I was writing about liminality from my uh, personal perspective, but also as you know, I was thinking of migration and all that. And and then this COVID came up, so there is like this universal uh, liminal state of being for all of us. So, um, yeah, it was. So, so I put your um, painting back up on the screen. If you want to talk a little bit about the particular work that's in the exhibition, what was what's the title of it, Christina? So it's called "From Here, From There," uh, because there are kind of elements from here, from there, and um, yeah. So this. You see in my work is this, uh, it's kind of play between representational and abstract and like unfixed elements and concrete surfaces, you know, like kind of confusion and wonder. Um, and it, as you see in this painting, there's this intermingling between re, uh, representational elements and some kind of chaotic surfaces or, you know, like um, uh, ele this elements kind of emerge or submerge from the, this uh, surfaces. And there is this feeling of motion. So for example, we have here a fire and we have some um, industrial machinery and some electrical poles. Uh, so th all those are landmarks or elements that mark my, uh, my like moments in my life. But I think for the viewer can be this visual or even narrative um, point of departures, you know, or, or arrival, you know, like people can imagine a story there. Mm -hmm. um, so in a way, they are also like some resting points because there is this some so much negative space and then there are some elements to you know, in, in, like in liminal states, it's everything, it's upside down, but we feel the need to have something that it's stable. Like for us right now, I feel like maybe we have new habits, uh, you know, or like new rituals in our lives and we kind of stop when those are helping us, you know. So visually these recognizable elements are um, like, I see them like that. And um, it's, it's acrylic ink and pencil on canvas. It's, it's 60 by 48 inch uh, painting. And I use also image transfer or decollage technique. You know, like I, I add the image and then I, I just break it. It's a sort of tearing down action that, um, you know, can relate to the separation or um, isolation or negotiation a person has in this liminal state of being. Um, and in a way, so people see it as a sort of abstract landscape mm -hmm. and, uh, I, I very industrial too, not a, it's not a, a Montana landscape. It's yeah. Like yeah. Radiation. So, yeah. So in, in a way it speaks about transitions, but also about our relation to the land and, you know, um, we are in between, we are these days in between respecting the nature and the land, you know, and, and uh, appreciating, but also in a way we are maybe using too much for our benefit. So that makes me go to think again about motherhood, you know, motherhood, it's often used as a metaphor for nature, 
you know, people say, you know, Mother Earth or Mother Nature. Um, and then mother for us are like, you know, they are always there for us and loving and feed us and nurture us and offer us a shelter. And that's how nature is, you know, it's, it's always there for us and giving and we depend on, on it. But um, I think sometimes we might find ourselves uh, maybe exploiting our mothers, you know, and, um, and I, I feel like maybe sometimes we do that with our environment. So I think also that's why there are the, those sort of industrial elements, but also it speaks about my transition from the village where I grew up in Romania to Bucharest when I moved, I moved when I was um, 13. I moved by myself to Bucharest because I wanted to go study art. So it was a, it was a huge transition for me. And at that time, Romania was transitioning from the communist regime to a democracy. So it was, everything was so new. Oh, man. With so many changes you've been through. Like yeah. So I, 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 I like to say that I'm a permanent transitional being, you know, and um, I think that that appears very strongly in, in my in my work, and I think artists in general are always like daily in a liminal state. Uh, I mean, we are literally passing this threshold between uh, our, our daily life and the studio. So we are, you know, when we are at the studio, we are in another world, and um, I think it's it's yeah, we are liminal in in a, like a sort of permanent liminality. Yeah, you're, you're just, you're very um, receptive to noticing that state all around you, I think, um, just because you've, you've lived there. That's how I am, yeah, and it's, it's sort of scary in a way, because it, it, it's, it's tiring also, it's not easy, it's confusing, you know, it's, it's, it's not um, easy to not have a stable ground, but um, it's also, it, in a way, it has a, some advantages because you see the world from and life from different perspective and you understand better, uh, you know, different situations. And um, sometimes it, it almost feel like it all, it offers like uh, infinite possibilities. You know, it's like you are in this new state. You don't know anything. So it's like it's time for, in a way, it's time for change. Like renegotiating identity and become who you want to become you know so yeah i i i guess my work is inspired by my experiences and it it was like that in the past so before going for this master i was actually doing children illustration um so when i first showing billings i showed my children illustration and i did that for over 10 years um so I think I also, so I was processing life, but wasn't an easy life. So in a way I was running away in this imaginary world and, you know, kind of fan fantasy world, a sort of nostalgia for the past and, you know, the times with no worries. But when moving here, everything was so new and so different that I couldn't run away because I had to understand where I am and what's around and the culture here and the people and the language and everything was so new. So I had to be so present that um, my painting started having realistic elements and, and you know, um, and I mean, nature here is so beautiful. So it started becoming more sort of landscapes in between United States and Romania, you know, so uh, that's why I feel like going for this MFA program because I, I felt the need to transition and um, it was great to have a feedback and do it that in a very like very intense three-year program, you know. Uh, so we'll see what's next, you know, I'll continue with this kind of work, but um, um, I'm, I'm thinking of a new body of work, maybe based on ritual because and habits, you know, in Romania, we have all these superstitions and the way we do things, but here there are uh, like new ones. And in, the, in a way, the things that I used to do there make no sense doing them here. And here, things that I see people are doing, it, it, um, 
I see them a ritual, but maybe local people don't see them that way. So I'm very interested in the idea of rituals and habits and, you know, superstition. So um, I'm thinking hopefully soon I will have a studio again and, and, and start a new body of work around that. Well, that sounds wonderful. I can't wait to see where your work goes. Um, I can't wait to see your work hanging in the museum, which it will be in a, oh, about a week now. So a week, very yes. exciting. Yeah. So um, the, show, the show starts pretty soon. Yeah, we will, we will open it on the original projected date of, um, of May 28th. I thought we would have to move it, but as it turns out, it's still going to open on May 28th. So yeah. that's very exciting. And people are coming into the building you know, very carefully. We're, we're all wearing masks when we're not in our offices, and, and all of our visitors um, are required to wear masks. And um, we have patterns on the floor to keep safe distancing. And I think... Yeah. Um, I think we're doing a good job at opening as safely as we can, and it's really exciting to welcome people back into the building. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, thank you so much for talking with me today, Christina. It's been really interesting learning about you and your work, and um, I hope you're able to come to the show in person. I, I definitely, I will. Um, I don't know yet when. I, I'm working on a, soon I will start a public a project here, a mural here in Bozeman. So I think that will keep me busy for the next couple of weeks, but uh, I definitely plan to come and see the show. So it's very exciting. <laughs> Wonderful. Great. Well, good luck to you. And um, I hope to meet you soon. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.